it's another long weekend for us, Friday. So just for a change, we've pulled up at Macca's to get coffee. So while Kaz is getting the coffee, this is our setup this time. Now it doesn't look a lot different than usual, I know. Except since I've got cactus tyres, I've got to sort that out later. I'll swap the tyres over and the wheel bags on a different one. What you will notice up here, I've got my Honda and a Jerry Fuel. I don't normally take the Jenny, I don't normally feel I need it. But we're doing a bit of a play with Jennies this weekend. Hopefully, it's not going to bother anybody. So, Brett's taking his Jenny up, and we're going to do a bit of a compare. So that's the uh, story. And if it gets really cold, then I'll run the Jenny. This is sad, I know. If it gets really cold, and I can run the Jenny, I've got a fan heater. This is where we're going. New sign since last time I was in here, which is really cool. See, caution, four wheel drive water crossing. Water levels may rise. That's why we come here, because road cars can't go in. I'll give you a look at this campground we're in at the moment later, but uh, yeah, we'll work our way into this one. This is the water crossing into the campground. It's not particularly difficult. I just walked it. So, Kaz is a bit less sure footed than me, so she didn't walk it. So she's gonna drive across. As easy as that. Not too bad at all. Good morning. We're at Carlong Campground. Saturday morning. Uh, this is our camp this morning. That's where we had the fire last night. That's our camp. Massive heavy dew. Solar panels are wet. When we we're here in the early parts of the day, right into the dark, there's nobody else here. But at night sometime, more campers arrived over there. Brett is here, but Brett will still be asleep, because anything before midday is too early for Brett. So Brett will still be asleep. But over here, Josh and Adam look like they've been awake for a week. They're having breakfast, the fire going. They've got it all happening here. Adam's, Adam's well prepared. Swagging it. I'll give all you guys a look at this campground in a bit more detail a little bit later. It's one of my favourite places, this. It looks a bit muddy at the moment because the ground's fairly wet, but 
It's actually not as muddy as it looks. Today, I just thought I'd do a little spotlight on a campground. This is called Karawong Campground. It's in the Chichester State Forest near Telegary. So I'll just give you a quick look around it. There are other people camped here at the moment. It's quite a big campground. It's been raining a little bit lately, so there's a bit of mud around. This shows you what we're looking at. So, plenty of room. I think you could get, I don't know, 15 or 20 campsites in here quite easily, maybe more. It gets busy on long weekends and in summer. It's winter at the moment, so there's less people here. It's Saturday. But there's plenty of ordinary open fireplaces everywhere that people have made. There is some of these fire pit things, but this one's pretty old and had it by the look of it. I doubt we would use that. Well, I dare say some people have. This is a bit of a secluded, semi-secluded campground in a corner. Give you a look at what that looks like. So this is quite big. The length of this, roughly this whole campground would be a couple of footy fields. Be a footy field a bit wide. Obviously it's shaped for the bush, but this part's a bit slopey just near the entrance. There's a river crossing to get in here, so it's four-wheel drive only. It has drop toilets. Go up this path. These are new, these drop toilets. I know this because I've camped here before. And these ones have replaced the original ones that were here. I don't know why. I hope you can see this, guys. It's pretty dark in me around this bit. I don't know why they were replaced. But anyway, obviously it needed to be. So that's them. I don't really need to show you drop toilets, guys, do I? So anyway, it's a free campground. State forests run it. Bins are provided. So I don't know what else you really need. There's a little river alongside it. I'll give you a look at that. Coming down to this river crossing, it's been driven a couple of times today, so it's not as clear as it was when I got here. This is, you have to drive this to get in here. It's not deep, but you'd really want a four-wheel drive to do it, ideally. But, uh, that's the major difference, that's why they suggest it's four-wheel drive only. Beautiful little river. I'll show you how you get to the river from the campsites in a second. But, uh, it doesn't look like, it's not a bad spot, it's one of my favourite spots in the Chichester State Forest area. See, Karawong Camping Area. Have your dogs on leads, no motorbikes, 20k an hour. Rig triple O in an emergency. You better have a sat phone. Got no service otherwise. So, I'll give you a look at this river. So, reasonably well defined little tracks. And I'll show you what this river looks like. Now there is a few bits of underlying plant life everywhere as you'd expect. But, you know, it's just not hard to get here. Just got to watch me step, it's a bit slippery. Apologies to that, footage is a bit jerky, guys. But, uh, anyhow, stepping out over rocks. You got this little pool here. And you got a deeper one down that way. Now, I can tell you, in summer, but up there in the campground, it's like 35 degrees. Down here it's like 20, just with the water. And of course in summer, you probably get down in one of these pools and sit in it and swim. I have. So, it's a pleasant little spot. It's not probably one of the most scenic rivers you'll ever see. 
few of his nicer pools and swimming holes around the country. But it's still not bad. Some of these rocks are a bit loose, guys. So I'll find a way down another bit. There you go. More bouncy footage for you. GoPro 3, no gimbal. Looking at a gimbal. Alright, yeah, here's the easy way down to this hole. Now, all this mud or messed up water is probably just washed out from the river crossing where the cars have been across it. It was much clearer than this yesterday. Anyway, that's the river here at Karawong Campground. And here's another established walkway out of it. So you don't have to go the hard way, but I came in to get this hole. Nice easy one here. And you come out here. And bang. Another camp section here. I've camped at this one, but as you can see, it's winter. It's 11 o'clock-ish, maybe later. It's still no sun. We've chosen to camp where there's sun. The campground goes further down. It's just really secluded little bits down here. There's another group went down this way this morning. And it's really secluded. So I'll give you a quick look. I won't go down and harass the people that are down there. But from after these protected ones, the road goes on, but actually goes to Lock Gate. So it's not designed to be driven a full length anymore. No, I'm going to walk down here, guys. It's funny, a bit pointless. It's just a lot more covered, be better camping for generators and stuff like that. Anyway, that's pretty well it. This is chopped up because everyone turns around here. But uh, when it's less wet, obviously it's not as chopped up. So, uh, when you come to these places, guys, too, if it is wet like this, drive really gently and slowly. You don't want to rip it up any more than it already is. Some chopping is unavoidable, but uh, yeah, if you can, Avoid ripping it up. Now I'm sure I don't tell you guys anything you don't know. Yeah, anyway, that'll do. That's the spotlight on Carawan Campground. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.